this here's a 212 Predator I had sitting on the shelf. This is the motor I'm gonna put on the little rascal. I don't remember much about it. Uh, I think I got it on a used bike. Um, I do believe it ran. I think I started ran it one time, but carburetor needs to be gone through. It's filthy. I'm gonna check out the internals on it. Uh, this motor's pretty much is gonna be uh, probably just a stage one with a, uh, a jet, the heavy air cleaner and uh, a pipe. There's, it's going on a little rascal, so there's no need to get really crazy with this small bike. Something reliable, easy to crank, runs good, reliable type deal. So I'm gonna make a quick video of ripping it all apart so I can clean everything, check it all out. Then I'll have all the tin stripped off, figure out what color I'm gonna paint everything, and then uh, then I'll have another video of uh, putting it back together. Probably bore a lot of folks, but uh, anyway, so grab a refreshment. This will be a quick video of ripping this thing apart. And then uh, maybe you'll catch the next one later with uh, getting it all snazzy and put it back together and paint it. That way you have a before and after video of what it is. Anyway, let's take it apart.
All right, that didn't take long. Get all the parts uh, separated out, throw them in the cleaner, get them all cleaned up. Got uh, some new gaskets and seals and uh, figure out what we're gonna paint it and put it back together. All right, we're gonna rip the carburetor apart. I'm gonna take it all apart, I'm gonna soak it. What I soak them in, is this right here. A lot of people like try and soak them in gasoline or paint thinner or whatever to get one clean. Um, this is what I soak them in. It's a Behrman's B12 vat. Uh, this stuff stinks like all get out. So don't do it in the house. Do it outside. I'll let it soak for a good day. Uh, take it back out. Then I'll spray it out with brake cleaner real good. Blow it out with air. Make sure all the jets and jet passages and whatnot are clean. Uh, throw it back together. You know, new bowl gasket. On and off valve gasket if it needs one. Um, I'm not sure about this carburetor. Like I said, the motor was used, been sitting on the shelf. So um, just going to put it back, see what jet's in it, uh, if anybody's put a jet in it. But we're just going to yank it apart real quick and get it soaking. That's it. All right, here we go. We're going to reassemble the engine. I got it all cleaned up, got new seals in the block, got everything uh, inspected. Uh, painted the block a cast iron gray. It'll be a nice color to go with the paint scheme for the bike. <laughs>
We can call that a wrap on the motor part today now you did see me put this piston assembly in this engine using screwdrivers that old school method uh, I do have a ring compressor which I wore it out uh, so I was waiting on the snap-on guy to get me a new one so anyway so don't laugh about that part there's a reason why I use screwdrivers 
don't do that. But you gotta do what you gotta do to get something done. Anyway, so uh, stay tuned for the rest of it. It'll be coming up pretty soon where I get the rest of this thing uh, both together and on the ground and riding. So if you like this video, uh, hit the like button, uh, share it. Uh, there's a little notification bell. So if you hit the notification bell, you'll get a update of when I'm doing the next video that comes out. So hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the rest of uh, the build of this little rascal. Thanks for watching.